All right, today I'm going to create a DXF using Adobe Illustrator and import into Fusion 360. So with Adobe products, you get a free subscription, not free, but you, have, you can download free stock vector files from Adobe stock. And today I'm going to use this one. So I've already downloaded it. Now I'm going to open it in Adobe Illustrator. Hold down the space bar, move it to your want, hold space bar and control, zoom in. Click your selection tool, highlight what you want, copy it, control N for new document, we'll just do an 8x8, create, control V to paste. And now we got to do a couple things to it here. So I know I want this to be four inches wide. So highlight the file, go to transform. We want to change it to four inches wide. Make sure that the that it's locked. Hit enter. Now another problem you run into is these files aren't complete. There's too many layers on here, and we need to remove these. You could probably get away without that, but it may make your life a little bit harder. So what we do is highlight the artwork, use the shape build, use the shape builder tool, um, the shortcut Shift M, and then uh, if you hold down the Alt or Option key, you can it'll it'll turn from the plus to the negative, and then you can actually drag your mouse over the areas. I don't like doing it this way sometimes; it's kind of tough to get in those little areas. You can see where I messed up. So you can either, you can hold Alt, click, click, just click away. Just keep checking to see if there's any more fill, white fill anywhere. Looks like we're good. Now we still have a problem, there's still extra layers here, and we need to turn this all into one layer. So let's select everything again, then we're going to go to um, Pathfinder, and um, hit the Unite tool, and now it's one layer. Now let's save this, or actually what we're going to do now is go to File, Export, Export As, and we'll just call it fish and most free software has a similar process to doing this so they're all kind of the same um, now let's go into fusion new document uh, always do a new component just kind of makes things easier let's go to insert DXF like the bottom plane, it's fish. Hit OK. Now sometimes you run into issues moving um, DXF files around because, like, obviously, if you want to, let's say we want to place it somewhere and uh, extrude it into, like, a, I don't know, like a board or a bowl or something like that. Um, Fusion isn't really, or Fusion's not that good with uh, sketch sketch object objects, and they don't move very well, and Fusion starts crashing. So one trick that I found is if you highlight the sketch, E for extrude, make sure make sure that everything that you want is selected, and then turn it into a body. And now when it's in a body, it's easier to move. And that's it.